Connecting you in high definition, this is KEZI 9 News at 6. Good evening, I'm Kelsey Card. Here's a look at your top stories. The U.S. Postal Service helped the local food bank extend their current food supply into the new year. Food for Lane County believes it will approach or meet its goal of 150,000 pounds for its largest winter food drive. Letter carriers have been picking up non-perishable food at mailboxes around the county for the past two weekends. Before this drive, the food bank reports it would have only enough food to last the next four and a half weeks, and most of that food is perishable. This drive will allow the organization to give out more canned food. It helps families who get a food box not have to use their box within three days. It allows a longer life for the food box once the client gets it home. The organization counted about 130,000 pounds yesterday, but that's not including collections from rural areas of Lane County. With not enough snow in the Cascades, major ski resorts in the area are closed. This time last year, snow levels at Hoodoo were double what they are now. Lodge managers say they are affected by the shortage of customers coming in from ski resorts, but they say they have other ways of bringing in business. The lodge at Subtle Lake says they have promotions on hotel rates, fun activities, and private party bookings. And it's not just lodges finding alternatives, so are ski enthusiasts. There's not a lot of snow other places like on Hoodoo, so it seemed like a good activity and since it's all of our first times we can all laugh at each other while we do it. Both Hoodoo and Willamette Pass Ski Resort are closed until further notice. A Springfield burglar makes a getaway through the dog door, but it wasn't long before he was caught. That's thanks to neighbors. Springfield police arrested this man, 27-year-old Quentin Lopez. Neighbors provided a description of the suspect vehicle to police, and a short time later, an officer spotted the vehicle in front of a Springfield home on S Street. Sure enough, the officer found Lopez hiding in an upstairs closet, along with evidence from the burglary. A St. Helens man is presumed drowned after falling from a docked Christmas ship last night. 43-year-old John Sullivan reportedly fell into the water around 9.15 p.m. and still hadn't been found by this afternoon. Witnesses said Sullivan fell from the bridge of the Trilogy at the St. Helens Marina right after the annual Christmas ships parade. One person told police they threw Sullivan a life ring. He reached for it a few times, but then went under. St. Helens police are continuing a search for the man. A pickup truck crashed into a California grocery store on Saturday, barreling through checkout stands and aisles. Luckily, no one was hurt. Firefighters responded to the Vallejo Safeway after getting a call that someone was stuck in a vehicle inside the store. When they arrived, the driver had gotten out of the truck. A building inspector was called to the store, which indicates the damage was pretty substantial. We don't know how the driver lost control. What are we doing back here? I don't I know. I thought this was supposed to be fixed. It was supposed to be fixed. True story of how law clerk Aaron Brockovich won in the fight against a public utility company became a blockbuster success. But 15 years later, Hinkley, California's water contamination, is not much better. We'll have the latest from the real Brockovich after the break.